Right, I just want to do a quick video on how to uh, program your Yaesu 7250 with Chirp using a generic cable that you can get off of Amazon. Um, honestly, this radio is very easy to program just uh, using the keypad, but if you ever want to shuffle those channels around, put them into groups uh, like I usually do, um, it's a whole lot easier to use Chirp to manipulate all that data. And I'm also going to paste the full instructions in the description. So if you don't want to watch this video, you can just hit the like button now, stop watching, read the steps, it'll be very simple. Um, the process is not straightforward, which is why I wanted to uh, do the video here. It took me a bit to figure out on my own. So, step one is, of course, um, plug in your cables. So you will unplug your microphone and plug in the data cable into the microphone port. Then you will hold you will hold the megahertz setup button while you power on the radio. And hopefully you can see that that it says clone. Uh, once you have it in clone mode, um, you'll go over to chirp. Alright, once you have Chirp open, you're going to go to uh, Radio, Download from Radio. You'll get a screen here, which uh, has your options for your Yesu. That's what you want to select. Now, once you do this, you want to hit the OK button. And then go over to your radio and hit the GM button and you'll get a TX icon. It is, it is now downloading from the radio into Chirp. And I apologize for the really horrible camera work here. Okay, uh, now it has downloaded. You can see I've already done this once so we have all the channels that have already gotten from all my local repeaters here um, unlike if you're doing let's say a bowfang with this it does not give you the options to for uh, setting radio settings or anything like that um, this is just strictly to upload your channel information um, you can set your high medium and low power your scan skip and so forth uh, for each of the items Okay. When you're ready to upload to your radio, all right, so we'll hit the megahertz setup button. Setup button, we'll go back over to radio, upload to radio, hit OK, and now we see it cloning to radio. And you'll see a little uh, RX on the screen as it's doing so. Once that uh, has completed, the radio just automatically goes back to normal operation. And then you can unplug your cable, plug in your microphone, and you're good to go. So hopefully this was uh, helpful, at least in learning what buttons to press. Again, you can just pretty much read the instructions. You don't need to fully watch the video. But if this shows you something that you wanted to see, I hope it helped out. And um, you have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.